everybody, Casey here. Welcome to my first Monday moment. Monday moments with Casey. Today I wanted to talk about faith. I feel it's um, something that God really put on my heart. And um, I also just will talk about anything that he puts on my heart. As I'm talking to you guys, I'm just going to try to let the Holy Spirit speak through me. So, yesterday, something pretty crazy happened that really made me think about faith and just how it is our, just our right to have faith and to believe that God is going to answer our prayers. We should always remember that God is alive and well in this world and that the Holy Spirit is working every day. I feel like sometimes in certain churches or different religions, they say that the Holy Spirit isn't around. It doesn't, it can't work like it used to in the Bible. But to that I say, isn't God the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow? I mean, if you take the Bible one way, then how can you take it another way? If you go by one verse, then how can you not go by another? I think that the Bible applies in all generations, you know? So, having experienced yesterday a co-worker has somebody that they really care about in the hospital who could possibly die. And when I heard that, it just made me think, like, wow. But why are we letting the doctors decide who lives and dies? Because that is... That's God's job, you know? So I was just praying up a storm at my work because I'm like, devil, you have no place. You have no authority. We, as Christians and believers, have the right to pray believing, knowing that God is going to answer our prayers. We pray expecting that God will answer. Because, like, without faith, we've got nothing. We got nowhere. Like that, 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 that one song from, uh, Let my life be the proof. The proof of your love. I have things on my computer so I can, uh, keep my thoughts in order. <laughs> So I know that faith and praying and expecting is a lot easier said than done. You know, a little easier to read on paper. Like, yeah, it's, it's good and all, but it's so easy to be scared and to listen to the doctors because it's like we've learned to trust them. It's like we go to them whenever we got a cold. But we should really start running to God with our problems more often because he wants to help us with them, you know? And we live in times where we really just have to hold on to our faith because it's getting real bad. And we have to accept that the world is getting worse and that evil is running very rampant. So now is the time more than ever to be putting on our full armor of God and speaking of who Jesus is and what he can do for all of us, you know? So I have a few verses about what we are talking about today. First being, what is it? James. James 4, 2. 
So this is proud or humble. What is the source of wars and fights among you? Don't they come from your passions that wage against, that wage war within you? You desire and do not have. You murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight and wage war. But this, this part is what I really want to highlight is that you do not have because you do not ask. God says it. He says, just ask me and I will give it to you. And I think a lot of us don't, I guess, take that verse to heart and really apply it and just like ask God with a believing, trusting, faithful heart, like, hey God, I really need this. And I believe that you'll give it to me because you said you would. And that's the key. Next, we got John 14, 12. 14, 12. 14, 12. 10. 11. Truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do. And he will do even greater works than these because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, I will do it so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do. It's right there. It's right there. Oh. Praying in Jesus' name. That's a good one. You can always call on the name of Jesus and he will hear you. He will answer you. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. That is a promise, people. Also, this ties into how the Holy Spirit is still alive and well. He says that we can do works greater than he did. So what makes us th what 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 makes us think that we can't do anything anymore? We can't heal people. We can't call on the Holy Spirit to just like bring somebody back to life. Look at Lazarus. This leads into my next verse, which is Luke 1:37. For nothing will be impossible with God. Nothing is impossible with God. Nothing. He can part the ocean. I mean, just just ask the stone that was rolled away at the empty tomb. A good song that I recommend as a little listening homework assignment is Rattle, Dry Bones Rattle. This is the sound of dry bones rattling. God can do anything. Have faith that God will answer your prayers and just be there for you. Trust that he's got everything in control. So yeah, that's my Monday moment with Casey. Thanks for joining me, guys. And um, stay tuned for Wednesday so you can hear what Michael's got to say. Bye, guys.